द फॉग विलियम हेनरी डेविस वट डू यू मीन बाय फॉग अ थिक क्लाउड ऑफ टाइनी वॉटर ड्रॉपलेट्स सस्पेंडेड इन द एटमोसफियर एट और नियर द अर्थ सर्फेस विच अब्सक्योर्स और रिस्ट्रिक्स विजिबिलिटी टू ए ग्रेटर एक्सटेंट दैन मिस्ट strictly reducing visibility to below 1 km the collision occurred in thick fog they say right that's the meaning of the very word fog okay it when the fog is in front the visibility reduces How are you all doing? All of you are doing great, right? I know, and you have thoroughly enjoyed all your online classes. I know some videos you have watched, some of them you did not watch. Still, we always expect students to watch them, and uh, with lots of interest. That thinking that my students will definitely watch my videos. With that idea in mind. uh we are we, we always try to do our best okay so this is vidya uh welcome to the second module of our poem or the poem the fog as discussed in the title uh as discussed earlier in this video beginning fog the meaning of the fog as you all have understood by now is something that uh we see or we feel especially during times of winter and uh, whenever the temperatures are low uh in india yes it is there of course it is there southern india no, uh, northern india it is even more and uh, the other uh, cold countries you find not just fog they also have snow right we don't find snow here in india but fog is much uh, i mean even you can find fog everywhere like during those times especially in open fields as discussed you all remember i hope you remember good and one more thing i wanted to add to that one is like the first let's talk about the title the fog okay the fog this clouded kind of a thing is nothing but uh, a small uh, I mean my way of presenting fog to you okay right the second thing is the right the poet who is the poet william henry davies so william henry davies as discussed in our previous module is a realistic poet or you can say a poet who writes about a uh, human hardships life and how common people suffer and all of these themes are very very popular in his poetry right this is what we have understood so far okay let's try understanding the first two stanzas let's give a quick recap of what we have done so one more thing i would like to add at this note is that uh i was also thinking a while a while i was uh, uh, i mean doing this analysis that we all those of you who have cars and those of you who are like fond of cars you must have observed the fog lights for the cars did you ever observe that below the headlights there are something called fog lights even for the cars this you will find even uh, for the high end uh, models of the cars uh, in india also they are very very i mean uh, common thing like everybody can really notice these all the high end cars they usually come with the inbuilt model where they have these fog lights okay why special lights why when you have headlights because the fog is as discussed earlier it makes us almost blind everything us our eyes we can it nothing is visible these fog lights when turned on they are like real they are more powerful they are stronger lights with um, more i mean visibility fine 
that is why the fog lights are also included in some of the high end models right that's what i was thinking of let's uh, let me first quickly uh, read the stanza 1 and stanza 2 ready all of you listening boys and girls okay now listen to the poem i saw the fog grew thick sorry grow thick i saw the fog grow thick which soon made blind my ken it made all men of boys and jains of tall men it clutched my throat i coughed nothing was in my head except two heavy eyes like balls of burning lead so these two stanzas we have covered in the first module right so in these two stanzas the poet william henry davis was trying he it is in the first person i could be the poet himself right so uh, he says that when he was walking on the street uh, the fog suddenly it it has become thick and uh, slowly it blinded my ken his understanding was lost and then the boys the normal boys now started looking as if they are tall men and those who are normal tall men started looking like as if they are jains jaint right the jaint meaning is also discussed you all remember who is a jaint ha huh, good brilliant now it clutched my throat i coughed nothing was in my head except two heavy eyes sorry except uh two heavy eyes like balls of burning lead so in the second stanza we understood that uh, he is i mean it looked as if the fog was holding or grasping his throat and he started coughing okay not just his understanding was lost now his even throat okay it affected his throat and then the second organ that is affected uh is eyes they started burning they they started having a sensation that something is really happening in his eyes and they became so heavy this was discussed clear all of you remember you uh, so how are the eyes described how uh with which metal the eye is described okay or compared sorry compared right and how tall uh, tall man became what and uh, boys became what other questions that we can expect right the meaning of k i n are these are uh, the important things here clear clear all of you shall we start today's module with a new uh, with a uh, with the next uh, stanza right listen now page number 73 everybody and when it grew so black that i could not know no place i lost all judgment then of distance and of space i repeat the stanza listen to me very carefully and when it grew so black that i could not know no place i lost all judgment then of distance and of space now the next level or the next step or the next stage the man has reached first it affected his understanding then his physical body for i um, mean first the throat then the eyes now what is happening to the man because of the fog everything turned black and when it grew so black that i could no no place okay now his eyes you can understand in two ways the fog has become turned black is it possible it's not that clear though it has become maybe thicker and thicker you can say but his eyes because now in front of his eyes because of his burning a uh, sensation he has now closed his eyes and now it is completely black 
black that's why i'm wearing black today to make it more effective right so it has turned completely dark black imagine power cut yes how it feels so you have your uh, inverters generators immediately turned on but in case if you don't have any of these imagine days 10 years before when we had only the kerosene lamps and all of that fine so try to imagine those conditions i could no, know no place now for me i don't understand any place i don't know where i am where i am heading all of this i don't know now i don't know i'm totally lost next i lost all judgment then so now what happened to the man he is now so helpless okay he lost all the judgment what do you mean by judgment so the general word meaning for judgment is actually maybe trying to uh, understand a person trying to uh, say that this is right this is wrong or giving something like that right judgment you know this term is generally used in the legal processes and all is what you feel but here judgment means a different uh, it is used in a different uh, way i lost judgment means while driving so it is so very important or while driving or by or wa walking you need to judge what is there in front of you you need to know what is there in front of you your surroundings yeah knowing your surroundings and trying to analyze and move forward this is what we all do this is unknowingly we do right because we can see clearly everything imagine a day normal day on a full bright sun a sunny day so you you walk generally right but if it is dark and there is no street light you walk very very carefully right the so is the case here with the effect of fog on the poet okay he lost his judgment because everything is dark now he cannot see anything in the surroundings right and especially of what judgment he lost he says of distance and of space okay where am i heading distance how far i should go how how I mean how to take the next step of space so what is coming next to me all of this is completely lost for the poet he is unable to judge what is there in the next step is there any kind of a pit or is there some water or is there a uh, uh, I mean is it a plain road or uh, a muddy road he doesn't know anything now that's what he mean to say clear i repeat the stanza once again understand it carefully and what it grew and the, and when it grew so black that i could know no place now i don't know which place it is i lost all judgment then of distance and of space so i lost the total judgment now i all, almost became like a uh, visually challenged person a blind man right because of the fog the fog is so thick clear now the next stanza the street lamps and the lights the street lamps and the lights upon the halted cars could either be on earth or be the heavenly stars the street lamps and the lights upon the halted cars could either be on earth or be heavenly stars okay so he now tells his uh next stage one by one he is trying to make us realize make us understand his situation now when you are walking on the road and that too if it's a night time so you all have the street lights and street lamps turned on right uh, uh and the lights that he is talk talking about street lamps are the general street lights and the second one the lights of the halted cars 
halted the meaning of the word halt is stopped so they are parked there okay some some of them they have turned on maybe because there is a signal or sometimes you even turn on the blinker right likewise the lights that is coming from the halted cars now how are they looking for the man what kind of feeling is he getting he feels now that could either be on earth or be the heavenly stars now he feels that this light that he is uh, getting a uh, slight feeling of the light or uh, the visibility of the some light okay for his eyes because of the uh, no, uh, there is no clarity right but some light is coming but he now feels it could be a light uh, either on earth or it could be the light from the heavenly stars so he is not sure whether it is a street lamp light that he is seeing now or is it the heavenly stars brightness that he could actually feel which one or sorry which is which is it he is unable to understand why the the answer is in the last stanza because he lost judgment now because there is no clarity when you are in a confused state you always are in a dilemma which is this which is that right you do you touch few things in darkness you can try understand some people they smell they understand but now he is talking about physical things in general like the light and all of that he cannot touch them or he cannot uh, smell them right so in this case what he can do he can only uh, try giving some ideas or some thoughts on them so this light the street light lamp looked for him or felt at that moment as if they are heavenly stars they could be heavenly stars or lights on earth clear all of you i read this stanza once again the street lamps and the lights upon the halted cars could be either on earth or be the heavenly stars okay this is where we stop this module okay once again i read the two stanzas which we have discussed in this particular module and when it grew so black that i could no no place i lost all judgment then of distance and of space the street lamps and the lights upon the halted cars could either be on earth or be the heavenly stars okay so this is where we stop this module okay before we all leave before we uh, 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 i stop this video understand the situation why the poet is talking about all of this what is he trying to convey to all of us try coming out with your own answers okay for the next module before you watch the next module think about this think in this light what is that poet wants to convey seems to be a very simple poem right but why is he writing this poet every poet when they may be some poems are subjective that is their own personal feelings that they are expressive or some poems are objective like they may they generally talk about everybody right in general so what kind of poem what is that the poem a poet wants to convey to all of us think about it it could be a good homework for all of you i am not giving any extra homework because you are already doing the worksheet along with the video right so um, okay students who is the poet once again name of the poet is william henry davis wonderful and what is the name of the poem the fog f o g fog okay awesome see you in the next module thank you